A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's Purdy. That'll be caught by Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well moving the ball down the field. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the follow through. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And as we see so frequently here in Colorado, that one over the inline. So it'll come out to the 25. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. They begin the drive with Williams. Take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this offense on third down today, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A big play that time on the catch and run. 30 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Up the middle, it's Williams. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 48 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. And they're going to get him. He's sacked back around the 28. Dre Greenlaw getting home on that one. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. From here, it would be a 45-yard field goal attempt, certainly in range, but they'll look for more yardage on third down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the right hash, this from 48. The kick by Lutz is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called. I probably would do that too. If that's what you're going to do when you're playing with the 49ers, that's insane.
that's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Flush to his right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football. He's taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Now Samuel. Run past the 30 yard line there. That's what they needed. It's an eight yard gain, and now third and four suddenly doesn't look so bad. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Shotgun now with Purdy. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Let's go, baby! Send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. This is first and ten. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's got some space here. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and 10 here. Now Wilson. And that's caught by Williams. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here comes second down. Throwing now is Wilson. Finding Williams once more. Complete. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. Here's third down and five. Wilson to throw. This one swung out to Williams. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Here's first down. On the counter, here's Williams. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and 10 now. Here's Wilson. To the sideline and incomplete. 
The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. They go play action now. Wilson. Now inside the 25. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 24-yard line. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much I don't know. Is this for everyone who's watching Gonna the do game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? So it's the 49ers who will get the football first with a chance to win it here in overtime. Oh, trying to gauge the sun, and he muffs it. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. McCaffrey on the counter. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here now second and nine from the 39-yard line. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. 95 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to wheel his guys to an overtime victory. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. And they're going with some extra beef up front. They've got to have this one in overtime. It's third and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. They go with the ground game, pick up the first, now in plus territory. And that changes the whole mentality of a play caller, doesn't it? Once they cross the 50, they feel like they're in the strike zone. All right? You don't have to be in the red zone to take those big shots downfield or go after the end zone. Right now, that might be available to him. And now this first drive in OT continues. And this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Patrick. Yes, sir. Now he's loose. Got a left sideline. And he takes this one back into the end zone. So it's a win here for the Broncos, and it was 
thanks largely due to the play of the quarterback, CD, a guy who's been doing it for a while, and that's Russell Wilson. Yeah, he was just on target all afternoon with three touchdown passes. They couldn't find a way to stop him, and ultimately, he guided him to victory. So that's a 